Today, we are going to learn how to compare and order irrational numbers. You should be on page 11 in your notes packet. To compare real numbers in different forms, you can rewrite irrational numbers as decimals. You might want to rewrite them as decimals that are rounded to about the nearest hundredths place so that you can do this. Let's look at some examples. We're going to use the less than, greater than, or equal to sign to compare these real numbers. Our first problem is comparing the number 5 to the square root of 10. Well, if we take the square root of 10 and change that into a decimal, we know that 5 cannot be changed to a decimal, but the square root of 10 would be 3.16 approximately. Well, if I look at 5 and compare it to 3.16, I know that 5 is greater. So 5 is greater than the square root of 10. For number 2, we're looking at 8.25, which is already in decimal form, and comparing it to the square root of 99. So we need to find the approximate value of the square root of 99. Well, the square root of 99 is approximately 9.95. Well, we know that that is greater than 8.25. So for this problem, 8.25 is less than the square root of 99. Next, we have the square root of 8 over 2 compared to 13 fourths. Well, if we take the square root of 8, we know that the square root of 8 is approximately 2.83. So if we have 2.83 over 2 and compare that to 13 fourths, well, we want to look at both of those as decimals. So if we do 2.83 divided by 2, we are going to get 1.415. If we do 13 fourths, that means we would do 13 divided by 4, which would give us 3.25. Well, we know that 3.25 is larger than 1.415. So the square root of 8 over 2 is going to be less than 13 fourths. To do this, all we are going to do is rewrite our irrational numbers as decimals, simplify our expressions, and compare our two values. So let's do more comparisons. Our first problem says the square root of 2 plus 4. Well, if we take our square root of 2 and we rewrite that as a decimal, we're going to get approximately 1.41. So we would do 1.41 plus 4, which would give us 5.41. For 2 plus the square root of 4, we would have to find the square root of 4, which is 2. So we would do 2 plus 2, which would give us 4. Well, when comparing these, we know that 5.41 is greater than 4, so we're going to use our greater than symbol. Next, we have the square root of 12 plus 6. Well, the square root of 12 is approximately 3.46. So we would do 3.46 plus 6, which would give us 9.46. Well, we don't even have to work this one out, really, because we know that when we add both of these together, we get 9.46. For this problem, we're starting with 12 and adding to it, so we know that this one's going to be larger. So the square root of 12 plus 6 is less than 12 plus the square root of 6. For the square root of 3 plus 5, we're going to find the approximate decimal of the square root of 3 which is about 1.73. Well, if we add 1.73 plus 5, we're going to get 6.73. Now we need to add 3 plus the square root of 5. So we need to find the, the approximate value of the square root of 5, which is about 2.24. When we add 3 plus 2.24, we get 5.24. So we can see that 6.73 is greater, so we know that the square root of 3 plus 5 is greater than 3 plus the square root of 5. For the square root of 24 plus 10, we're going to start with the square root of 24, which gives us approximately 
4.9 plus 10. Well, 4.9 plus 10 would give us 14.9. Well, we would compare that with 24 plus the square root of 10, but we know we're starting with 24, which is already greater than 14.9. So we know that the square root of 24 plus 10 is less than 24 plus the square root of 10. Now, when we are going to order our numbers, we would convert our numbers into decimals and we wanna make sure we round to the same decimal place. So if we use the tenths, we use the tenths for all of them. If we use the hundredths, we use the hundredths for all of them. Then we plot our decimals on a number line and list the numbers from left to right to put them in order from least to greatest. To put these numbers in order from least to greatest, I'm gonna start off by finding their decimal approximations. So for these, let's say that we would round to the nearest hundredths place if necessary. And let's start with the square root of 22. Well, if we start with the square root of 22, we know that that value is approximately 4.69. Then we have pi plus one. Well, we know that pi rounds to 3.14, so we would do 3.14 plus one, which is 4.14. Then we have four and one half. Well, four and one half is exactly 4.5. So let's put these numbers where they would belong on our number line. We can see that our number line is broken up into fourths. So this is four and one fourth or 4.25. This is four and one half or 4.5. And this is four and three fourths or 4.75. We know that the square root of 22 was about 4.69. So we know that it goes somewhere in here, so we know that our square root of 22 would be about here. Pi plus one was about 4.14. Well, that would be somewhere between here, probably a little bit closer to four. So pi plus one would be approximately here. Four and one half, it is ex at exactly 4.5, so it goes exactly here. If I put these numbers in order from least to greatest, I would read them on my number line from left to right. So pi plus one was my least, followed by four and one half, followed by the square root of 22. Now let's look at our next set of numbers. We have the square root of 45, which is approximately, when I put it into my calculator, 6.71. Then we have pi to the second power. So for pi to the second power, we can say 3.14 times 3.14, which is approximately 9.86. And then we have 10, which is just 10. And then finally, we have negative four and one half. Well, negative four and one half is negative 4.5. If we put these on the number line, the square root of 45 would be at 6.71, so that would be approximately here. Pi squared would be at 9.86, which is very close to 10, so it would be about here. 10 is at exactly 10, and negative four and one half is, at, is between negative four and negative five. So if I read these from left to right, I would have negative four and one half, followed by the square root of 45, followed by pi squared, and finally 10.